Hello guys, have you ever wondered what's the difference between the Bosch LSU 4.2 oxygen sensor and the LSU 4.9 oxygen sensor? Well, this video, I'm going to show to you guys four differences and why you should buy the LSU 4.9 even though it is slightly more expensive. Right, coming up! Alright, so the first one is the LSU 4.2 is using the reference air as a reference. Alright, so this reference air it is uh, implanted inside the oxygen sensor, but it may get polluted. It can work well in the lab, but it cannot really survive in the harsh conditions of our cars. So the reference air might break and the contaminants coming in and causing the whole reading become lower. And that's why you may need to change your auto sensor uh, from time to time. Alright, but LSU 4.9, they are using the pump current, which is more accurate. So the actual pumping current is still an indication of the AFR. But the reference is more accurate because it is a calibrated signal. Alright, so therefore, LSU 4.9 can last longer and higher accuracy. Right. The second thing is, the LSU 4.9 has good heating control strategies. Okay, they are using the CJ125 chip. So this CJ125 chip can measure the internal resistance of the heating element. So it can get a close look to know what is the temperature of the heating sensor and continues to provide heat or stop because auto sensor only can operate normally at 780 degrees celsius all right so a lot of auto sensors break down prematurely is because of the heating control is not good enough so with this heat good heating control you can have a longer auto sensor life right so the third one is so the lsu 4.9 has new design of protection tubes that has complicated structures to allow the exhaust gas to rotate in the sensing element and it also blocks the dew, the water moisture from coming in. Therefore, you may have a longer life, right? And the fourth one is, it has thinner sensing element which translates to faster response and also high sensitivity of your sensor. So that's why we always go for LSU 4.9 if the situation allows you because some of the old cars are still using it. If you are if you are using 4.2 for your car, you cannot simply just replace the 4.9 unless you attach with another LSU 4.9 auto sensor controller. Right? So I hope you guys learned something from this video. Remember to subscribe. If you guys want to learn more about engine building, select the proper parts for your engine and don't forget to comment below what kind of experience that you have between this LSU 4.2 and LSU 4.9 sensor 2. Let me know. Right, so see you guys in the next video.